Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Brad again, it's the 11th of May 2017 and I'm actually really excited because today, um, today's Thursday and I had my last fitness model competition literally four days ago. As you can see, I still have the tan, it looks like I have a skin disease. You see that right there. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. I look like I have a skin disease. And I'm there in the shower for like 30 minutes trying to scrub this off and it just will not come off. So I'll just let it, I'll just let it fall off naturally. And, and it's crazy, right? So I don't know, if you have any suggestions for how I can get this tan off, because <laughs> I'm looking at competing again in 16 days from now. And at this point in time, I won't even need to get another tan. I can just use the tan that I've got and I can just <laughs> jump back up on the stage again. So if you have any suggestions, if you're a lady watching this, and you're a competitor, or if you're a lady and you're not a competitor and you know how this tanning stuff works, please leave your suggestions below. Someone actually suggested that I use bleach, bleach to pull the tan off. I'm like, bleach? No, bleach is for tiles. Like, bleach is for like removing mold. Like, I'm not putting that on my skin. I'm like crazy. So I didn't do that by the way, but if you have any suggestions for what I could use to remove tan, just really handy for me, really good for me. Appreciate it. So, uh, my last comp was four days ago and I feel pretty good. And I am actually getting ready for my very next fitness competition. As you know, this is the world titles journey for me. I'm getting ready for the world titles. That's end of next month. But, but my very next competition that I'm not sure if I'm doing or not, is this one in 16 days from now, the Mornington Peninsula titles. It's a very, it's a local show, it's not big. I don't even know if there's anyone gonna, like, it's a very small show, very small uh, show, and it's, you know, I don't know. And it's 16 days from now, and I'm, I'm, I'm organizing it as if I'm going to be doing it. The reason why I may not be doing it is because my body may not be ready for it. Now, what does that mean? Well, I competed four days ago, I got fifth place, two separate divisions, little things are up there, and I haven't got feedback from the judges yet. I don't know where I went wrong, why I came fifth, how I can improve, and that feedback won't come back to me until, you know, like, end of next week. Like, I'll have one week to get myself ready after I get that feedback from the judges, and I don't think that's enough time. So what I'm doing is, I think in my mind, the judges are gonna say, Brad, you weren't lean enough, you're in the wrong category, and or maybe something went wrong with my posing. So I'm practicing, I'm not practicing, I'm, I'm, I've changed my nutrition around so that I'm gonna deplete and load. So carb depletion, oh, what I'll do, I'll throw the meal plan up on your screen so you see what I'm talking about. It means there's periods where I don't have any carbs, and there are days where I do. There are days where I don't have carbs, and there are days that I do. And of course, I'm in a calorie deficit, right? Um, and by the way, my coach does not want me to do that, and then she quickly turned around and said, do whatever you want, right? So that's a whole other discussion. So she's not keen on me doing this competition at all. Um, but I want to do it, and I want to train and, pre and prepare for the realization that I could be doing it in 16 days from now. So, today, I've got the pamphlet. This is the pamphlet here. It's only two sheets, right? That's it, two sheets. What I'll do, I'll flash it up on your screen so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. You see the, uh, the medals there. You can see that it's 27th of May, it's on a Saturday. So literally 16 days from now, there's ladies and guys that compete. They're all the divisions. So you have like the bodybuilding, which is not me, I'm not a bodybuilder. You have the figure, so the ladies. And then you've got like the fitness models, sports, swimsuit models, um, bikini models, that's me. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, and then yeah, fitness, men's fitness model open, which is the one I've marked and the novice, so there's two divisions that I'm entering into. I've actually already entered into them, I just haven't paid yet, and, uh, and that's it. So, they give a little information here about don't take any supplements three days prior to the competition, otherwise if you get drug tested, it might come back that you're positive for taking steroids. So I'm competing with a natural federation. So I'm a natural competitor, never done steroids in my life, 
Even though when I go to a nightclub, almost every time I go to a nightclub, which is very rare these days, someone will ask if I have drugs or steroids. I'm like, no man, I just train and eat a lot. <laughs> so no, but I don't, so this is a natural federation. You know, there are some federations out there which don't do drug testing. Um, they're not natural. Guys do steroids, very common in the industry. I'm very proud. Uh, I don't have anyone to get, I don't have anything against people that do them. Uh, just on my thing. That's it. End of story. So, 27th of May, 16 days out. And the cost for this competition, 310 bucks Australian dollars. And um, that's how much it's costing, right? That's about the price that you pay to enter into one of these fitness model competitions. Um, do I win a prize? No, there's no prizes. I think I'd get a show bag actually. I might get a show bag. No, I don't know. I don't even, but you don't do it for that. You don't do it for that. You do it for the personal challenge. And you know, you do it for, like, I do it for branding as well, because like, it helps to, you know, if I want to get sponsorship deals and that kind of thing, you never know that you can say, well, I competed in this show, came first, came second, came third, whatever. And then you might be able to use that to get a sponsorship or something like that. By the way, I'm not sponsored yet, but if you're a sponsor watching this, reach out to me. Even though I do get a few, I do get a few, a lot of spammy looking things on Instagram. So, and I usually see, if, you, if you're gonna contact me as a, a sponsor, please don't do it through Instagram because um, I get a few like t-shirt things coming through my Instagram DMs and I just ignore them. So, anyway, so this is the world titles, right? So this is in Thailand and that's end of next month. Now look how many sheets of paper, we're talking like 11 sheets of paper. That's the accommodation that I have to organize. That's like all the yada yada yada, all of that. This is so much information. Okay, so quickly, my training plan. So, I've got a new training plan, which my coach has given me, which I'll flash up on your screen so you can see it properly. It's split day one to day four, and then back, shoulders, legs, abs, arms, I mean, look, you could use this if you want to. I don't see any harm in using it. Just using it as a template to design your own training plan. Um, it's not perfect, like it's, you know, it's not one size fits all, um, but it's a good place to start if you want to build a training plan. So you can start with back and shoulders. So if you want to build a training plan for yourself, you could do day one, it could be back and shoulders. And then Google exercises around doing back exercises and shoulder exercises. And then you get some certain number of repetitions and sets. Um, and then, yeah, and then legs day, don't forget legs day. And then arms, abs, yada, yada, yada. Okay, that's the training plan. Now, the nutrition plan is uh, what my coach didn't want me to go on to, and that is a deplete and load. So a period of no carbs, a period of carbs, period of no carbs, so it's like three days no carbs, one day carbs, three day no carbs, and so forth and so forth. Something like that. And I'll flash that up on your screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, it's Thursday. I did the, my last competition on the Sunday. I'm really scratching myself, aren't I? I'm really itchy. Um, so, sorry about that. So yeah, I did my competition on Sunday and came fifth. And then I had Sunday off, Sunday evening off, like my meal plan. So I went out, had a burger, had Messina ice cream with one of the other competitors who came third. We hung out, it was great, we chatted. And then the Monday, Tuesday, there was no meal planning. So I just had whatever I want. I had like some rice and some salmon. Nothing was measured, nothing was weighed. I had um, some protein cookies. I had, I've talked about this before. So then I had Monday, Tuesday off, training and meal prepping. Yesterday, I'm back on the meal prep, so Wednesday, and, uh, and it's the, the meal, the, the plate and load. And that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. I'm going really fast because I want to get everything all the information out real quick. So, if you haven't already subscribed to follow this journey, please do so. Um, this is my journey to the world titles. If you have any questions about it, please reach out to me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave your questions below. It's my complete journey of what I do behind the scenes, getting ready for a fitness model competition for the world titles. So everything like eat, train, all this, all this rubbish, <laughs> all this paperwork. There's paper everywhere. Anyway, so I have nothing else to talk about. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Have an awesome day. I'm actually going to go to the gym right now. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm gonna to go to a different gym and I'm gonna do a shoulder and back 
I can't even find that sheet of paper. So I'm going to do a shoulder and back training section. So I'm going to throw that up in separate footage on my Instagram. So if you haven't already followed me on Instagram, I use Instagram stories a lot. I document my training through Instagram stories. Anyway, that's it. I'm off. Have an awesome day. And I'll speak to you very soon.